Chairman, I yield back. Thank you, Senator. Now we have Senator Hickenlooper. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, and I first want to thank everybody for your public service and your willingness to go through not just this hearing, but to dedicate your lives in the, for the next few years and to the public good. Um, uh, Ms. Tootin, I want to just first start and say that I have two letters that I'd like to submit to the congressional record. Both are in support of yourself uh, for Commissioner of Reclamation. The first comes from the Southern Ute Indian Tribe in Colorado, the second from the Southeastern Colorado Water Conservancy District, uh, and both speak incredibly highly of the public service work that Ms. Tootin has done, her mastery of complex Western water issues that defy any rules of complexity, uh, and, and her unique ability to work with diverse parties uh, towards productive solutions. And she's got a long record of success. Uh, my staff has shared electronic versions with the committee, and I certainly hope committee members get a chance to look at these and appreciate your including these in the record. Um, then uh, Ms. Daniel Davis. Um, last week we saw the BLM's long-awaited announcement on its uh, headquarters uh, and the announcement of a, of a second, a regional headquarters out west, uh, I think helps ensure that Westerners are going to have a direct say in how uh, much of our Western land is, how the, the, the federal government oversees um, much of that Western land. Um, but I think it's important that leadership be out there and, and, and reside in that uh, Western headquarters. So uh, I wanted to ask you whether you could just speak for a moment. Uh, I realize this is, you know, that the appropriator is going to have a large role in this. But can you speak to the value you see both, both for the Western states uh, and the country uh, and for BLM in having some senior BLM leadership uh, located out in Grand Junction, Colorado. Senator, thanks so much for asking that question. And um, I, I really appreciated your engagement and input and the conversations we've had on this issue. Um, and um, I think, as you know, the, the Secretary has asked us to prioritize um, both the functionality of BLM, which was really impacted by a reorganization um, that led to uh, literally hundreds of personnel departing the agency and the promises of job creation in Grand Junction um, were not realized. So I, I think in, in our analysis and our process where we've talked to um, a lot of employees, we've talked to many, many stakeholders, uh, including in Grand Junction, I know the Secretary was there with you on a visit and we uh, undertook formal tribal consultation. I think we were trying to uh, understand how we could best help the Bureau be successful. We ask it to do an awful lot. Um, is, as far as the Western headquarters in Grand Junction, I think we agree that we want it to be be uh, a robust presence there. That's very important. Um, we want it to grow and agree that we should have senior BLM leaders there. Um, as, you, as you point out, we, we have yet to uh, uh, progress, but hope to start soon the, the formal reprogramming process with the appropriators. I hope that we'll stay engaged with, with you um, and, and the rest of the delegation in talking about this. But um, I, I think we're in agreement about what that, we, we want it to be a robust Western headquarters, while at the same time feeling that it's important that BLM have its key leadership also in Washington, along with the rest of the other land agencies. Absolutely. And I, you know, the secretary is now legendary in Colorado because when she came to visit, she not only showed up at events in very small towns, but she stayed. And that was noticed and reported all over the state. Uh, I don't think we've seen a cabinet secretary go out into the community in the same way that she did and really listen to people. So very impressive.